In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four glass test tubes uh, infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the first glass test tube comes there. I've just put some liquid here and the liquid is pouring out and it's going to the other container. And I've put the here the text 01 data and then you can add the detailed text, the title also, and then you can add the percentage. And when I click a second will come with a different color you can see here the third and the fourth likewise i've created one more where i've just make it somewhat narrow this is first one second third and fourth so depending on your requirement either you can increase or decrease these glass test tubes and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 to do this if you're using the older version like 2007 and 2010 some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rectangle top corner rounded. Draw this one, something like this. And you can see here there are two uh, orange points. So the bottom orange point, I'm going to select and drag this inside. And this one, I'm going to drag this outside the top one. So we end up getting a shape, something like this. And again, if you want to increase or decrease the shape, you can do that one. Then shape outline, select the white color and you can increase the weight also, maybe three points I'm going to choose. And again, align center, align middle, I'm going to do. Then I'm going to add one uh, oval shape here. So go to insert shapes from the basic shapes, select the oval, draw the oval. You can see here something like this shape outline. Again, you make it white and the weight also I'm going to make it three point something like this. You can see here. Let me just zoom here and then I can just reduce the size a little bit. All right something like this and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'll keep it here so what i'm going to do this is i'm going to uh, cut this shape from here so i'm going to select the the rectangle then hold the shift key select the oval shape go to format merge shape and say subtract so you end up getting a shape something like this and shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and this one i'm going to place it here and this also shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and then you can just align it properly all right so you can see here we end up getting a shape which is something like this now i'm going to add a few more shapes here so let me just select this one duplicate this one all right and then go to format shape fill i'm going to make it white maybe shape outline i can make it no outline also and then i'm going to cut this into two parts so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle till here one press ctrl d i'm going to add one here you can see here maybe this much size something like this all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the the white rectangle first then select the blue rectangles by holding the shift key merge shape i'm going to subtract it so i end up getting a shape something like this and right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency a little bit and then just paste it here all right if you want you can just reduce it also the size and then just bring it this is just to give a kind of uh, a glossy look okay something like this now once this is done what we need to do is we need to fill this jar with the the water or the any substance so let me just select this one again press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side shape fill i'm going to give a maybe white later on we can change it shape outline no outline then i'm going to cut the top part from here go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle 
and I'm going to tilt it something like this you can see here then I'm going to select this hold the shift key select this one merge shape subtract and you can give any color of your choice maybe I can give some pink all right so before doing that one what you can do is let me just go back so that uh, you know instead of doing this one let me just make it somewhat transparent so you can see here I'm going to tilt it something like this so that the top part should be like this here okay then I'm going to cut this and then give the same color all right and then you can bring it here you can see here and then send this to back all right and then make sure that you correct this select this one let me just move this a while and then let me just correct this and then i'm going to put this back again here all right so like this i have made one then i can select all press ctrl d to duplicate let me just do it again it's ctrl d to duplicate and move this aside here now what you can do is you can just remove this one all right and then you can add the other colors also if you want you can just change the color with this or what you can do is you can delete this part again i'm going to duplicate this and give some white color here and again depending on my requirement i'm going to cut that part all right so maybe i'm going to cut more now you can see here something like this still here and then I'm going to select this and cut it and this one I can give some other color shape outline make it no outline and then I'm just going to put it here and send this to back all right so you can see here I've created two now if you want four five six depending on your requirement you can make it so select all and press ctrl g and this also i'm going to press ctrl g all right move this aside now this one i'm going to bring it here again if you want to reduce the shape also you can hold the shift key and you can reduce the shape you can see here i'm also going to just reduce the shape here all right so then i'm going to select this one bring it here and alt and right arrow key to tilt it something like this you can see here i'm going to place this one here tilt this one i'm going to place this here all right now ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side this color i can just change to some other color also maybe uh, i can give a green and rotate i can just let me just do one thing let me just rotate it now see when i'm rotating it should be the other way around right for that let me just rotate you can see here i can rotate this and bring it here all right so something like this and then i can add it here press ctrl d to duplicate and this one i can again change the color to some other color of my choice so like this you can create the, the test tubes like this now let's add one more shape where we'll see that how this uh, liquid is coming out from the tubes all right so let me just move this a little bit and then i'm going to do this one for this green so go to insert shapes i can select the oval shape again draw the oval shape something like this shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color here all right and till here like this and then what you can do is right mouse click edit point zoom go here and just do something like this you can see here as if it is coming out from here and this also if you want you can adjust it and bottom also i can just let me just go to the bottom 
again right mouse click edit point and just increase this so it looks something like this can you see here it is coming out so now i'm going to select this one let me just add the orange or the pink one so let me just select this color put it here and i'm going to reduce the size all right so you can see here it comes out from this maybe this also a little bit you need to just arrange this okay so and then and then this is maybe i'm going to change the color to some other color here all right and then i'm going to select this duplicate and the same color let me just go to the slide yeah and then comes the other one okay press ctrl d move this one here again reduce the size and change the color so you can see here we have done this part now it's time to add some text so i'm going to add a text box i'm just saying zero one data choose any font of your choice make it bold and i'm going to tilt it and i'm going to put it here you can see here this is zero one data press ctrl d this is zero two i'm tilting the other side ctrl d this one for this and duplicate this and here again if you want you can choose the white font also so this is one this is two this is three and this is four likewise i'm going to add some text for outside your title make it bold reduce the size maybe to 14 and then you can add some detailed text all right you can add some detailed text below this part and bring it closer press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate again ctrl d for the fourth and here all right and again if you want to give some percentage also you can give the percentage here now let's do the animation part close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first tube and then go to the add animation more intensified select stretch click ok and effect options make it from left so it comes something like this and once that is done i want this animation add animation or you can just go to wipe and wipe make it from top and this should happen after previous and this data i want to just click on appear and this should also happen after previous and then you can add this one also more entrance effect stretch click ok and it should stretch from right and it should happen after previous so let me just play now so it comes something like this let me just show you here okay like this it will come now it's very easy for me i'm going to select the animation painter click on this part now instead of from left it should come from right then this one the green one i'm going to click on this part all right and then this animation then this animation so only thing is i will change to left all right let me just remove the guidelines all right so this is first second now the third one i'm going to choose this one again go to the animations all right then the animation with for this then the text and the last one this one now the same thing goes for the fourth just a minute yeah then 
the animation for this and the animation for this so let's see now when i click the first one comes then the second one third one and fourth one so as i said depending on your requirement if you want to increase you can increase it also